Hello and good afternoon, ladybugs and yellow jackets, fox gloves, and snapdragons. Welcome to this Sunday's episode of Handmade Home Shopping here on Faye Productions. Mm -hmm. It is December 20th. It is almost to, it, we, it is almost to both solstice and to Christmas, mm -hmm. whichever one you celebrate. <laughs> so uh, that we're we're getting down to the wire here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. First things first, of course, please like, su subscribe, and jingle the bell. I was so proud of myself for thinking up a new adjective today that was holiday and seasonal. Uh, <laughs> but, well done. Uh, right? I actually, my, you can't, there's a little bell right here. Jingle. You look super festive. It's, oh. it's fun. I, you I just moved and right. remodeling, so I couldn't yeah. find my Christmas hat. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, if you could see this whole dress, it's like, it's a Christmas tree. Like the whole dress looks like a Christmas tree. So it's kind of hilarity, but that's amazing. Yeah, I, ha I had it for a thing we did last year. I don't know. I don't remember. Time, what is time? If it was, if I was back before this year, I really got bad with it in 2020. So um, before I jump into the show, though, please uh, let me say first, there are a couple, a couple of little announcements. One, if you were here with us last night for virtual, haha, see what I did there, you will. Uh, if you were here with us, thank you so much. We had a super great time, and uh, we are looking forward to coming back on New Year's Eve, which you see right there, going in the ticker below. We are doing a New Year's Eve snowball bash, and we're just gonna drop the ball from 11 p.m. up to midnight to herald in the new year. That that you see on your screen is our memory jar. We are collecting memories from people, good memories, and you can just go type it in on our little form. And then um, we're going to put all of those into a physical jar. And then throughout the hour leading up to New Year's, we're just going to draw them and read everybody's good memories out loud online to sort of send 2020 off on a good note whilst heralding in 2021. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, you know, have our have our toast and drop the ball and smash it. <laughs> so uh, I mean that's what fairies do, right? It's a snowball. We're gonna have a big snowball bash. So it'll be fun times. Anyway, please you can find the links for that also in the low bar and the descriptor everywhere uh, down below. Also, thank you to Manifest Magical Pendants. They are today's show sponsor, and Manifest Magical Pendants are beautiful jewelry pieces that are skillfully crafted by Samantha, who is the proprietress. She hand sculpts a variety of clay and crystal pendants with um, which each take on their own unique properties from the gemstones around them with which she works. So she travels all over to get those. It's actually quite cool. So she does use stones like lapis lazuli and quartz, tiger's eye and selenite. There's a whole huge selection of them. Please check her out. The best place to probably find her is on Instagram where you can see a gallery of her work and just reach out to their, her there if you find something interesting. But also her information is going there below um, and is in the in the low bar as well. So you can go click on it. And with that said, that brings us here into today's show proper. And our first vendor of the day today is Morbid Heart Designs. Welcome back. You were here way earlier this year, and it's good yeah. to have you back here for the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be back. Um, uh, excited that Christmas is like here and yeah. 2021 <laughs> is almost here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, 2020. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. <laughs> so. Well, um, so you are pretty familiar with how this works, so I guess I can just go ahead and I'll give you the screen, yeah. uh, move myself aside. Mm. We'll see what you've got with us for us to shop with today. Oh, yeah. I can see them well, now. Yes, I'm so excited to get my new office and put them in there. So now they join me on my streams on my own Twitch channel. Uh, one thing I really wanted to share with everybody here, and it might be a little bit too late, is the Christmas cards that I design. I'm not a traditional Christmas person, but I always love Christmas cards. And I'm not religious, as in the typical religion, so most of them are extremely religious, so I decided to start making my own Christmas cards. Um, this one is my Krumpus series. They are still available and they won't be available next year. So you can I will literally them. buy some of those. I send out Christmas cards every single year. I love Christmas. Well, I say Christmas, but 
I mean holiday cards because that's the way I am too. I grew up with it as Christmas, but and those are uh, awesome. I I already bought some for this year, but I will totally buy some for next yeah. year. And heck, yeah. I might even run out. Are you selling those in um a box set or are they individually sold? They're sold in a set of three. And if you go to my website, morbidheartdesigns.com, there is a direct link in the upper menu that goes mm -hmm. right to them. So there's four different sets and three cards in each set. Nice. So you can pick your favorites. And I have red or green envelopes as well. So you can pick between that. I think my green is running on the lower side. That's been people's favorite color. <laughs> Well, that one sort of reminds me of like a Krumpus Charlie Brown Christmas. I love that. Okay, no one's ever said that. I get a lot of like, he reminds me of Stri Stitch or um, the book, The Things. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember the book now. I can see the artwork. Um, but it's like a classic book. So my little story. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I just said they're the best. I love these cards. They're so cute. My little story is that Krumpus is tired of people being afraid of him and he wants to be loved like Santa, so he takes over Christmas. But he, as you can see by the bloody back, doesn't doesn't quite do things right. <laughs> then he had it in the new year, because why not, right? right. <laughs> you know, sorry, go ahead. We're good. I do different cards every year. Um, these are just what's less from last year's because with everything and no events, I didn't print this year's design. So next year I'll have something completely different. So if you do want them, I definitely recommend ordering them while you can because they will be retired after probably the end of this month. That, this is it. This is their last and glorious run. It is. I love these ones, but I'm really excited for the designs that I had prepared for this year and excited to share them next year. So if you like them, like non-traditional Christmas cards, holiday cards, you should definitely follow so you can see when they're available on my socials. You don't socials. happen to have a sneak peek of any of the new designs, do you? Not easily accessible. Yeah. Well, they're, they're open. <laughs> I, I didn't think about that. Um, I should have. That was a failure on my behalf because there's no, some amazing uh -huh. ones pulling in a lot of pop culture, like Nightmare Before Christmas, The Gremlins, uh, things like that. Uh, did you have more there to share with us, or did you want me to pull your store up? Um, you can pull up my store if you would like. That is not a problem. Okay, I will do that. Give me just one second. And so. <coughs> Yes, you were saying that you had other themes as well. Yeah, I do. Um, I did a Zodiac series and I are available as cards as well. My painting hidden under my desk just fell on yeah. my lap. Um, but they're all blank inside so you can use them for whatever you would like to. Holiday cards, birthday cards, life sucks, oh, cool. you this, you're strong. Uh, all sorts of things since they're blank. And there's actually two designs of each Zodiac. I just grabbed one set to share with you today. And these are available in vinyl stickers, which are waterproof and weatherproof. They'll survive the dishwasher. And no way. <laughs> yeah, they will. They will. Um, I hand wash my thermos. This one's one of my designs. But one of my friends um, puts hers through the dishwasher all the time. She's had them for over a year, and they look pretty damn new. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to. It's it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Sorry. It it, it it's okay. <laughs> no nobody will care. <laughs> so I mean yes we do try to keep that off off the show but it's not a super big deal. So uh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Uh, let's see. So let me I had your here. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yay. Magic. I know, right? Look at all the screens I have. So this is your website. Where shall we go? Tell me where to navigate. If you wanted to go to the um, original arts and prints, I have different categories under there. I do fan art, a lot of horror fan art, but some other things. The Zodiac, I have downloadable color pages that are mermaids and fairies, unicorns. I've been having a lot of fun creating those this year. 
Um, those ones are some of my scarier ones. I've moved, so I haven't had time to do them lately. So I was trying to get one out a week. So there's quite this a few one there. Sure looks like whatever is in your fish tank behind you. I like the creepy dark fishies. <laughs> <laughs> That's there's a reason there's an angler fish in there. Um, but there's one of the fairies that I, I drew. Um, lots of different things. Or very. And they're PDFs you can just download and print out or color digitally if you prefer digital. Nice. I don't even know how to color digitally. I've had some people who do like to. Um, one of my Twitch rewards and Patreon rewards is you get a free code every month to download one. Usually my patrons vote on it, but I've been allowing people just to pick whatever they want with the holidays and how busy my life's been. Yeah, moving at the holidays seems uh, like a crazy... Ooh, this one's so pretty. That one's one of my favorites. I'm oh. hoping one day somebody's going to cosplay her. Right? She's very pretty. I like this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's check out... Let's look at murdered teddy bears. <laughs> I'll take murdered teddy bears for 500, Alex. Acceptable. <laughs> These are these are adorable as well. Thank you. <laughs> they are available as these two that you see at the top are available as stickers as well, um, but they're only originals. I didn't do any prints of them. So I'm rainbows and death. So why not murder cute things? Right. So do you have these? Uh, I'm looking for where can I find those cool cards that you were just showing us. Up at the very top, you'll see holiday cards, limited release. That is where you can see it. You'll have to click on it because my website, I'm working on a new website because I'm like, this is annoying. Why can't I just go to this page? But it doesn't allow that. You can only do so much. In <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, 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 all have a, we all have a limit, right? For banners. Exactly. So these are, I, I, please tell me you have stickers of these. Do you have stickers? I do of not. I do not. Maybe maybe next year. It was one I contemplated doing for this year, but again, without events, it hasn't been worth investing in new seasonal product for this year. But there's definitely some awesome ones yeah. like the tree or the ornaments that would be great stickers, I think. Ah, uh, these are... I love these cards so much. <laughs> oh, okay. Where shall I go to next? Um, one, more place, one more place. One more place. Uh, Inktober. Go to um, Inktober 2020. Okay. And what is Inktober? Inktober is a 31 day art challenge. It usually takes place in October. It always takes place in October. And there's a gentleman who created a prompt list and every day you do an ink piece based off of that prompt. I didn't do all of the prompts this year, but I really liked a lot of what I came up with. My husband's challenged me to do more darker black and white stuff for Inktober. So I like the blood for the red, though. I can't get away from that. It's too perfect. I, I super kind of like this this little zombie rodent thing. He's my favorite. Like, there's a lot of the him, the eel, this pumpkin, or some of my oh, favorite. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> these are cool. And so these are art prints. Oh, I like her too. She's on the those. originals. I've decided I'm not going to do prints of these ones. I did some prints from 2019. But I'm just going to leave these ones as the originals only. I might put them on cards, a few of them. These are cool. Thank you. Uh, good job on your Inktober challenges for sure. Thank you. Hey, 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 this is not black and white right here. <laughs> it isn't. I, the, the prompt was coral for that one. And I was like, I can't do black and white. Coral's so beautiful. Oh, is this the, I just noticed that this was say, saying day 22, chef. So this is the theme for the day is chef. Yes. And so dig, okay. No, and I, that was the last one I did. I almost got through it and then I just wasn't filling the prompts and I created a different list of things that I wanted to do. So I did that instead. Well, uh, that, you know, it kind of makes me wish I could draw because it's really cool to sort of just see 
you get this word and then you can do whatever comes to mind from that word. What a cool notion. It's one of my favorite things as an artist to go online and see, um, cause if you hashtag, you're not familiar with the internet, you can search with hashtags on like Instagram. And it's really fun to see how creative and different people's interpretation of the word are. Yes, that is one of my favorite things. I'll probably spend like 45 minutes just looking through it. I, fire, I found so many talented artists that are inspired, inspired me to do different style, try, are trying different styles and techniques mm -hmm. and whatnot. It's been, it's just a fun little thing to me. Well, holy smokes, time flew right on by. Yeah. I know, we only started like a couple minutes late and here we are. Well, so, <laughs> so is there anything you want to say before we let you go this afternoon? Um, thanks for having me. If you like my art, I do do time lapse videos here on YouTube. I stream on Twitch. All the links are on my website. Um, if you want to do, go to morbidheartdesigns.com and you can check it out. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys around in the virtual scope of life. I know you should join us for New Year's too. Like just come I and hang out with us for New Year's. So I'll think about it. We haven't decided. Um, we usually host a New Year's party, but obviously COVID means no. And right. we're, my husband's actually destroying the kitchen right now, so we have no place to host anybody, anyways. So I might have to because I don't know what we're doing otherwise. Yeah, that's we're just a uh, that's that's it. We're gonna put a pop up outside here. That way we can pretend that we've gone someplace, but really it's you know like to the to the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Little side note, last thing on, and then I'll let you move on. One of my friends has been really missing going out. So she yeah. got all dressed up and fancy and had her husband set up different bars around the house so she could go bar hopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things that we do while I, trying I, to hide. I love you. Let's, I'm, maybe that's what I'll do for New Year's. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show this afternoon. Thanks and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. We are cruising right along, you guys. Okay. So our next vendor is, uh, do I see you down there? Force of Habit Leather. I do. Hello and welcome to the show. Hi there. How are you doing? I am. I am so super tired right now. <laughs> I feel like any energy that you might be witnessing is basically just uh, like that second wind when you you have passed the point of being tired and now you're maybe hallucinating or something, right? Because yeah, yeah. we had a really late, late show last night for our winter solstice celebration thing. And so, and then we were just up late after that. So, here, and now here I am. So. <laughs> Well, you're pulling it off very well, so congratulations. <laughs> Why, thank you. Well, please, this is your first time to the show, so please, if you will, introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, tell us who you are and what you make. Give a shout out to any of your home events or people that you want to give shout outs to. I always approve of those. And uh, tell it. Let's then I'll give you the screen. Let's see what you've got to sell us. Yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Bella Wiedig. Uh Obviously, I run Force of Habit Leather here. Uh, we've been going for about a year and a half now. It's not very long, but long enough to get some things going. Um, a lot of what I do, mostly on Etsy, is more mundane things, mugs, book covers, things like that. But um, I do also do some leather armor, which is, of course, my favorite. But, of course, doesn't pay the bills as much as other things. So. <laughs> it's a um, high ticket item, usually. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a little bit more. <laughs> A little more high price, but uh, but also so <laughs> fancy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, we've been cooking around here. I say we when it's really just me, but let's face it. Uh, <laughs> you want some pets? Uh, what's that? You want some pets, maybe? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? I do have a cat, so you go. got that going. <laughs> See, it's a we. Exactly, it's a we. Yeah, sure. Me and Ed, <laughs> it's perfect. Um, so yeah. Yeah, oh, go ahead. ahead. Sorry. Uh, oh, go ahead. No worries. No worries. Uh, so basically what I have to show today, I have a few uh, armor pieces that I'll show here uh, okay. and then uh, just a few things. And then most of probably my stock's so low right now for Christmas that. Yeah, but that's would... a good thing. So I'm going to slide on out here and there you go. Have the screen and, and let's see what you've got. Absolutely. So um, obviously behind me here. There we go. Yes. Uh, that's that's a suit that I made um, last year. 
uh, for a con. Um, it's kind of an elven based sort of armor. Uh, Is but it to get it closer to the camera a little bit? Let me see. Let me just like tilt my little friend up here. Ooh, oh, did you get his cloak too? Or its cloak? Yes, I did. So I made most of it besides like the pants and like mm -hmm. the shirt. Uh, but I don't oh, know. I can see that. Yeah, can you see? Uh, I get it close because it doesn't stand on its own very well. But oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I can uh, see that there's some kind of design there on the chest. Yeah. The tree. There's a tree on the chest. The lighting seemed much better when I was practicing out. Um, but, you know, of course, that's the thing that happens. Um, but I'll pull a few pieces from it so that hopefully you can see. Like, so this is a sheath I made for one of the swords. Uh, oh, that's just cool. Sword. Uh, it's just got a little elven kind of leaf design. Mm -hmm. um, you can see a little bit of that. Um, sword I did not make, but that's okay. Um, a few things here. Um, I really like making the van braces. So here's a set of like elven van braces that I made. I don't know yeah. if it's looser, you can kind of see, but I uh, just got kind of a nice little elven design on the side, some buckles on the back. And of course they come with a nice little padded insert here to make your forearms look nice and buff because that's what we all want. Um, let's see here. And then I also did a set of Aragorn's bracers from uh, Lord of the Rings. So you can see those there. What? Now, do you hand tool all of that in there? Yeah, yeah, that's all done by hand. This was actually one of my very first projects. Um, I got into leather because I wanted to make these, this specific item. Yeah, they're beautiful. And I buy 300 yen. I was like, well, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> so, so, you know, I stumbled into leather work and um, I do really love it. Um, and then a couple little just mundane things. I do sell a lot of these jars. So here are two Lord of the Rings themed. I do yes. mostly Lord of the Rings themed things. I see it's the Even Star and it yes, has, and the Tree of Gondor. Whoop, there it is. Yep. And I like these because you probably put them on any jar that's like that and voila, instantly transform it. <laughs> yeah, it works really good. It works really good. So um, yeah, and then just a few things like right now, just some work in progress to show you. I've made these reindeer gloves, mittens. Oh, Which, what, can you put that on so I can see what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're oh, quite oh. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> I took them on a walk today and my hands were so hot, I actually had to take them off for a moment. So they work very well. So do you, those things are so cool. They make me, they make me think of SantaCon. And I don't know if you guys have SantaCon where you're at, but so normally, at least here in, here in the Northwest, SantaCon is basically uh, bar hopping where everybody gets dressed up like Santa Claus. And then it'll just be, it's just everybody. It's, it's like an outside kind of convention and people just roam around areas going from bar to bar dressed as Santa. But then you also get people who are like, I don't want to be Santa. I want to be, I've seen tons of reindeer. Like they are Santa's reindeer. And <laughs> yeah, it's not limited to just people just being Santa. And then they just go out and they go kind of like holiday bar hopping. It's hilarious. And I, as soon as you said reindeer gloves, I was like, oh man, those would be so perfect for a reindeer cosplay for Santa Claus. <laughs> well, if anyone's looking to make a reindeer costume, I, I know where you can find some gloves. Yeah, right? You <laughs> got some good ones right here. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, those are just a few things. Again, like I said, um, a lot of my shops pretty just kind of made to order at this point. Yeah. Um, but Shall yeah. we take a look at your shop real quick? Yeah, let's let's jump on. All right, hold on. Give me just a second, and I will pull it up. Yeah, and just share it with everybody out there. Do -do -do -do. Oh, and a shout out to my brother. I know he's he's uh, live streaming right now. Here we are. So, hi Isaac. <laughs> hi Isaac. Nice hi. to meet you. So here we go. Force of Habit leather. Yeah. I'm gonna pull this down so it's not impeding our view here. 
and ah, oh, that is not what I wanted. There we go. That's what I wanted. So shop. Let's see. We go to shop. Oh. And see, uh, yeah, some of my things here. These are. This one is so cute. This little Shire Hobbity one. Yeah. Oh, I like the green. The green painted even stars. So you hand paint these as well, then. Uh, yeah, they're yep, all hand, all done by hand. So, um, you know, you start with a piece of leather that looks, you know, that looks like this, and then you turn it into what you see, which is kind of cool. So, <laughs> 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 that's all right. That's all right. It's a blank piece of leather. It's boring. The, um, this is a cool keychain. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, keychains. Um, I sell quite a few of the tote bags. Yeah. The Christmas. For a huge seller this year. Ooh, what's here? What what is inside of this Lord of the Rings ornament? This is cool. Yeah, those are ripped pages from the book. Nice. Yeah, so we've got a, a little fellowship inside of the ornament. Um, my website isn't as updated as I wish it were. You know, it's hard. I don't know. I don't even know what a Twitch is. I like hear you guys talking about that, but I have a website, which is something. So, what's this? That's a blanket. Yeah. And then it just like has a little hobbit door in the upper corner of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. Um, I'm like, I want to go get snuggly in the blanket with the, it's sort of like the, Ooh, I like this too. Boy, I like all the things. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I really super like that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of grooving on it. Well, so I've got this thing that has developed since the show, <laughs> since shows became, Hey, this one's cool. Be not afraid. Uh, since shows became a thing this year. And one of the things is that I have cups from all of these different vendors and whatnot. And then I've kind of developed this cup collection that began to grow. It started with one and now I've got several of them. So I'm looking at these going, you know, this could be like a cool little cup for the show, right? Message. I'll hook you up. The road. What does it say? The road goes ever on. Yet again, not a great picture, but oh. Etsy pictures are a little bit better, but I've been kind of jumping back and forth. Up Butter here. beer for all of the Harry Potter fans. Got it. That is so cool. And I love this book cover. That's beautiful, Birches. Thank you. Is this a is this book cover? Does it come off of the book so you can replace whatever is inside of there? So what I do is I custom make them for whatever size book. Yeah, I mean you can take it off. Yeah, so it slides in and out. Um, the pages just kind of go yep on each end. Um, yeah, but they're the sizes are then custom made for whatever book you want covered. Rohan leather mug, cool some Harry Potter. I love all of your designs. Oh, that's a cool one. Thank you. So For a second, I was like, yay, Ravenclaw. No, Gondor. <laughs> <laughs> You're so I like this. What is this? this yeah, so that's a Lambus uh, bread from, again, Lord of the Rings. So like the Elven Way bread that they give them for the road. Uh, that's like an iPad cover. Or I also make a smaller size as well um, that you could put, I don't know, trinkets or some little things in. But um, that's been a good seller this season as well. This is really, this is a cool idea. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. Man, this is like perfect for LARP right here. There you go. You got it. Right. Absolutely. Oh man, I'm re I'm trying to read all the things that are <laughs> that are written there. I've got a mix of a lot of things, and then like one random Star Wars keychain. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I mean, I'm not going to give any spoilers. But the latest Mandalorian, ah, uh, <laughs> where everybody here are Star Wars fans. So, yeah. oh, this is some great great stuff. And I know I do have like a custom, I'm trying to think of where it is on my website. It's not in the shop section. Um, Pop culture? It might, be, it might be on a different section, like under, I don't know if I actually updated or not. I had a custom, oh, custom up at the very top. There you go. That has a few pictures of different things that I've made, um, and everything else. Um, and some of my armor Ooh. team you can see in a little bit better lighting, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Um, 
oh, little uh, things for tin cans as opposed to a. Yes. yes. You gotta change it up every once in a while. Yes. I'm, I'm just, I'm over here like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> is this a belt right here? Yes, that is. That is a belt. Um, it's That's got the fellowship. Cool. And then there's actually mountains that line the rest of the belt. Um, and you can kind of see over here. Yes, you can see it a little bit um, for sure. But again, I, I do need to update things a little bit more. That is really cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got like the mountains. Yeah, I think it's just a random, you know, default picture that was on the website that I just left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. that It seems to fit with everything quite well. This is a beautiful bag, too. Oh, uh, I tried to enlarge it, but it didn't work. I like the, uh, that's beautiful. No, your work is really nice. I, it's just, I love all of this just intricate, you know, the painting and the, the art, the artistry that is on the, that word didn't want to come out of my mouth there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're welcome. Is there um, is there anything that you would like for to say to everybody today before we let you go? Um, I guess Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, and thank you for having me on. Uh, it was of just kind of, you know, like, hey, you want to be? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And I I did wear my elf ears for today, so you know, you got to show those off just a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? Every time I every time I see people that have them when I'm outside, I I'm compelled to say my people and then they look at me strange and then they're like, yeah. <laughs> you should do. And that's right, as you do. So, well, this is the this is the time of year too where I see a lot of other Christmas elves that run around sometimes and what's so funny is sometimes if they're if they're just if they're if they've just got their holiday Christmas elfishness out, then they don't they don't quite get it because <laughs> they they haven't fully embraced their elf their elf. <laughs> so not yet. not yet. So when I say things to them like my people, they look at me strange. <laughs> That's okay. They'll get it. It'll it'll sink in in a minute. So. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to let you go, everybody. All of the information for Force of Habit Leather is has been going in the ticker. It is also in the low bar as well. Please go check out the work, give them some likes and follows, and I am sure we will see lots of new product coming in the new year after after we all get a chance to holiday ourselves. You got it. <laughs> Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, cruising right along. Who is next in line? <gasps> Glimmer Faye, I see you down there. No. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, we can see you. Yes, I you can. Okay. have a whole setup there. So um, yes. I'm going to give you the screen because I know you're familiar with this a little bit. So I'm just going to turn it to you right now. And please, if you will, look at your wings. Just introduce yourself to our audience. Tell us uh, who you are and what you do, and then let's see your stuff. Look at you, so, like sparkly, and everything is going on there. You have the whole booth. Yeah, I got a lot going on. <laughs> um, so I'm Christy. I'm the artist uh, and owner of Glimmer Fae Creations. I make all kinds of fairy stuff, like these wings and um, earpieces and, and hair clips, and I've also got some ornaments that I just happen to have right up here. That's one of my so ornaments. how what's the design like how did you get the design on those ornaments so this i cut the the, the glitter logo uh -huh. i cut using my cricut machine oh wow and i and i and i weeded out all the little negative space pieces with my hand <laughs> that's like the hardest part of the whole thing and then inside is this really sparkly shredded iridescent film um, basically the same stuff I used to make my you own know, earpieces and wings and stuff. And I just stuff it inside. And it's it. pretty. I like it. So that's one of them. Uh, we've got a couple others. I got this is just kind of abstract, uh, more one of a kind because I use negative space out of um, some of the pieces that that I make. Remember um, to hold them still for the camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Nope. That's okay. I've got a little too much energy right now. <laughs> that very one cool, really right? looks like the wings on your back. Yes, exactly. 
Although it's actually it's actually the design for my um, for um, one of my hair hair pieces actually crystals. And these unfortunately are not on my website yet, but I'm going to try and get them out soon. Um, obviously, it's probably too late for this holiday, but um, if anybody, I, I could post them on my my social media, and if anybody wants them, I can. Yes, send them all out. of your information in the ticker, and of course, down in the low bar as well for everybody watching at home. <clears throat> So we didn't actually uh, look at my website last time, if you want to do that this time. No, I, I can do that. Uh, give me just one second to pull it up. And if you want to show us something in the interim while I'm getting that, then that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Let me find it. This is the dragonfly oh. hair clip. So it's got the same wings as that ornament did, the same design. Here we go. Just clip on using an alligator clip. And and I, the way my tablet set up cuts off my face when I get close to it. <laughs> what are all these things that are in that frame that is behind you? In the frame? Oh, these are earrings. See this so, frame here? Yeah, that's what I mean. So I'll show some of my new stuff here. I've got some... Um, some autumn leaf earrings. Ooh, I like those. We have rainbow anodized uh, niobium ear wires, so they're hypo hypoallergenic. Here's some. Yep, this way. Ooh, those are so pretty. Do you have one, any of them that are wings? Uh, yes, I do. I feel like I did not see these the last time that we have you on the show. No, I didn't get to show them last time. Oh, those are so cool. I do have a dragonfly wing design, but I don't have any made right now, unfortunately. So I've got your website here. Let me just get it shared onto the screen and then tell me where to go. Where shall we look first? To look in the shop. Okay, into the shop. Just click on the yeah, and then you can scroll down. You can see I've got a promo code there. I still the oh, your Lolly Day promo code is still active as well. Okay. But I had to put one on the website as well, just in case. Let's see. This is Glimmer Fay 2020 to get 25% off all items. Oh, maybe I'll just stick that right here. Okay. Wink so people can see whilst shopping. There we go. So you can click on any of those. Click on any then, of those links. Let's see. Let's look at dragon wing earpieces. Yeah. Now, it, I, without giving away any trade secrets or anything, can you describe a little bit how it is you make these? Like, what's the process? What are they made out of? Like, are they waterproof or at least resistant? They're pretty much, they're, well, I don't know if I could say waterproof. They're very water resistant. Um, and, and, and some of them you could even sit on and, and not have a problem with. Um, although they are very light and feathery. Um, so if you did jump in the water, you might lose them because they will just float away. <laughs> but it's um, a little scroll process. So there's, there's, a, there's like, let's see, one, two, three, about four layers of material there. This particular set, I think that's glitter veining, uh, glitter vinyl uh, is the for, for the design, the veining. And mm -hmm. then they're layered on top of an iridescent film. And then you sandwich in a little curl of wire in there to, to give them some sturdiness. Yeah, right here. Stand up and resist Ooh, your hair. <laughs> put them on. There you go. And then, and then I put a clear layer on top of that to protect them and hold all the layers together. Make sure they don't- and What apart. am I looking at here that looks like little crystals or baubles along the- those are, little, those are little silicon beads. It's what I use to attach the, the earpieces to the wire, the, the design oh. to the wire. Wow, that's they, cool. They have a little bit of grippiness too. So they kind of, if you get as much contact, you know, with your skin behind your ear as possible, you, you press them down to your ear, they will help, it'll kind of grip the skin and help keep them on your ear. Uh, as well as the little the curls on the ends. Let's see. 
There you go. We'll look at these ones. That's a little bit darker film. Yeah. You can see the contrast in them. Yeah. These are lovely. Thank you. And so they're they're just easy to just put on your ear. You can just bend, pinch, adjust at home. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And then I'm curious, uh, how how careful do you have to be when doing that? Does this wire ever grow old and then break? You know, from too much bending or what? If how you have to, yeah, if you have to bend it a lot. It, every time you bend a, a wire, it weakens it. Um, so what you want to do is just bend it to fit your ear once and then leave it that way. So that it, it you know, that's all you should really need to do is Ooh. just make sure that it fits your ear. And then you can just take it on and on without bending it again. These are cool. That's what are these? Is what I tell people. Oh, these are my, these are my sparkly sparkly. <laughs> I'm like, these are one of a kind. Look at them. Yeah. They have like multiple, multiple pieces. So it's like like a fan of leaves, this, this set. And that's on a I holographic vinyl uh, uh, veining on top of uh, iridescent film. So that the, the veining actually transitions from like a purple to pink, depending on the angle. These, these are, are cool. And I love, I really like how these, whatever these little silicone -y things are that you were, I like how they kind of look like jewels. You know, they look like yeah. little dewdrop jewelry things. Yeah. It's kind of a nice touch that they inadvertently add. I know. That's 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 probably the only part of the the creative process in making those that has stayed the same since day one. That was what I came up with to try and attach them, and it just hasn't changed because it serves a like perfect perfect function form and function there to help hold them on your ear, and they look nice too. <laughs> These are awesome. Yes, I like them. I love this pumpkin one and this yeah. cool little purple one because it makes me think of pear cider. I'm gonna take a look at this one though. Because yeah. this just makes me think of the Unseelie, our Unseelie Queen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With, did, so did you make these little wings here then? I did, yep. Are they based off of a type of creature or animal? I mean, just other than like... Death's Head Moth. I've got hmm. hair clips with that same design, actually. Except the, the, the for the hair clips, it's the body of the moth instead of a uh, skull. Oh, cool! And yeah. cruise on so over there. Take a look at that. Stuck it up there and, and incorporated it into a, into a headdress this, on this particular. I can. Oh, is this now? Is this a clip that slides in or a headband a that head, goes over? It's a headband. Yeah, headband. Okay. Yeah, and I got it right here. It's wrapped with. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's some deep, deep eggplant purple sari silk strand. Um, yeah, let me break it. Here you go. So you can beep beep over here. See how? It's oh like yeah, wrapped. okay, I see. And there's the back so you can kind of see the construction of it a little bit better. I found these fingers at the craft store. <laughs> I love them. They were hands. And I cut them. I cut the fingers off and made them into a headdress. And so it just it just slides on like that. That's really cool. <laughs> I mm -hmm. I feel like I know a fairy that needs that, right? Right. I feel like I need to raise my camera up. I didn't, I don't know what happened here. I need to, that would take too much fussing to try and make it taller. <laughs> That's okay. We, we can see when you do that. It looks really cute. Wings bounce. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, it's let's really see. Lightweight too, um, but, not, but not so lightweight that it, you know, will fall off a lot. It's, it's or too heavy. It's, Kind of at that sweet spot in terms of weight and, and comfort. Well, so let's see. Look, let's bring. Let's pick out one more item here, or set of items that you have behind you, and let's let's see one last thing for today before we let you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got the in honor of the uh, conjunction that's happening. I've got a Luna Moth hair clip. Ooh. Gold. Oh, with the whole so, goddess. The color with this gold. Uh, the goddess in, in the middle. It looks like a yeah. goddess shape. 
yeah, the body of the the body of the moth just kind of happens to oh, to look like so much glitter and iridescent shine. Can we see the back of it? How does it yeah. attach here? So it's it's just a little little. Uh, Are you able to bend plant. adjust those wings at all? Oh. Yeah, you can. You don't have to, but you oh. can. You can angle them up a little bit more if you want to pretty easily. That's cool. Yeah. I love how, uh, uh, what am I, shiny, shimmery. Uh, I guess I shimmery, glimmery. Those are the, that shimmer is the word yeah. I'm looking for. I love how shimmery yeah. it is. Yeah. Words are probably not a thing right now. All things, all things that glitter and sparkle and, and, and are iridescent is, is kind of what you'll find in my, in my repertoire. Right. So, yeah. All right. So can I just let me ask a quick question? Because I know it is it's December 20th. And so the likelihood that anybody will get anything by, uh, uh, you know, on time for Christmas is, yeah, unlikely. However, um, I think that most people know that this year and kind of don't much care. Everyone's still <laughs> ordering stuff anyway. And I think that people are just going to extend Christmas basically from the 25th all the way to the new year. We're just going to keep getting yeah. presents in the mail and going and going and going. Exactly. Uh, so, so yeah, anything, it, you know, the 25% sale lasts through the end of the year yeah. still. I still have a bunch of those promo codes out there, including the one on the website. And I do sell gift cards as well. Oh, okay, great. So what I was going to do as well is anybody, anyone that receives one of my gift certificates will automatically even after the end of the year will have that 25 percent off as well oh nice so that is very good and actually the fact that you bring up a uh, gift certificates you bring up a really good point is that gift certificates can be obtained immediately and then exactly. used for at least online shopping if that was a that's actually one of the things that i like to do on christmas day is i like to get onto the interwebs and shop, and, <laughs> and shop on the yeah. interwebs <laughs> that's something that somebody can print out and give to somebody right away. Yes, you know, they, they, they and that way they don't have to wait. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today, and I hope you have enjoyed the rest of your weekend and evening and a great holiday because it's basically coming up, and probably won't yeah. see you again until maybe you'll join us too on New Year's. I'm like, everybody, join me on New Year's. It'll be so fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> Usually so tired and, and stuffed by then, but yeah, I'll be I'll be moving on on New Year's New Year's oh. Day. My, oh, I'll God. be moving to a new studio space. But well, that sounds fun and exciting, though. Yeah, it will be. I'm 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 getting excited about oh, it. Oh, I forgot to say too. You have the magic word. So I see a yeah. little mushroom. Yeah. And I forgot. So so yeah. Goblin. Yeah. Uh, yes, Dice Goblin is this week's magic word, you guys. That also means uh, if you use the magic word Dice Goblin at checkout when you order from Glimmer Fay, you will get a bonus, a small bonus gift with your purchase. So I, I totally forgot to say that. I'm very sorry. But yes, Dice Goblin. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to kind of get around to that, but you, you got, you, you, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Good to see you. Yes, and you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So that brings us, well, actually, we are, I have, I am missing a vendor here. Okay. But I see you down there, James Bay. Are you, uh, are you ready to come in? Are you good with that? All right. All right. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Okay. I apparently have an absentee vendor here, so we're just going to move right along to you. Welcome back to the show. Well, thank you. you are I welcome. It. And I like your festive hat that you've got there today, too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Distillery elf <laughs> in the house. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to turn this screen over to you. Please just uh, introduce yourself to everybody. Tell us who you are, and then we can kind of see what it is you do there. Let's hear all about it. Okay. I am Lee Troth, and my husband, Ernie, and I own James Bay Distillers in Everett, Washington, located on the south end of Painfield Airport. And we make whiskeys and gins. <clears throat> Sorry, whiskeys and gins. So our first one, if you guys remember, is our Galloping Goose whiskey. So she's won um, like four gold medals since we got her. We just heard from 
proof awards, she took double gold. We are thrilled. That's our Christmas present. That she Congratulations. Took. Thank you. Um, super excited. Um, we liked her so much. Uh, she has notes of caramel, vanilla, a light baked chocolate from the char on the barrel with a light honey finish. And we liked her so much, we wanted to play around with her. So we just released what we affectionately call the blue goose because her label is blue. Yes. yes. But we took that goose and we put her in a barrel that held bourbon for four years and Martel cognac for seven and let it sit for an entire year. And she picked up some wonderfully, wonderful plum notes, a little bit of uh, baked raisins in the middle of the palate. Yeah. Uh, just tastes absolutely amazing. Um, and so right now we have her with her, with yes. her Avery labels, but her real labels will be here in January, but we're selling her through the distillery. Then we have our Cadboro. We started with that goose and we infused her with a natural sus sustainable cacao from Ecuador. And it, it gives a little extra chocolate on the mid palate. Um, it's not a liqueur. We did not add sugar. We just wanted to play with that chocolate note. Also at Proof Awards, she took gold. Nice. Yes. You, you have so many awards that you guys have won. I mean, and I, I like the fact that I can personally attest to the deliciousness of many of these. <laughs> so. well, you have to come back because uh, the Blue Goose is new since you were here. And the 12-month Gentry, I think we only had the six-month when you were here. Yes, that is correct. So, so this is the 12-month. She sat in that bourbon cognac barrel for an extra six months and picked up even more um, of that baked raisin note. Yes. Even though Gentrigue and the Blue Goose went into the same type of bourbon cognac barrel, mm -hmm. they picked up different flavor profiles. What causes that to happen, if, if you know? A uh, base composition of the alcohol that goes into the barrel. Interesting. Um, also, uh, whiskey has a tendency to be a little bit lower proof than uh, gin when it comes off the still. So when this went into the barrel, so it's around 143 proof, whereas uh, the gin goes in around 180 proof, and that can kind of have an but effect. But then the comes out at that proof. Um, it, lo it loses a little bit. You get what's known as the angel's chair, the part that evaporates, but um, she's still dialed in around 180 proof when we took her out of the barrel. And then we bring her down to 80 proof because uh, most people don't want to drink something that's 180 proof. Well, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. I was just thinking, uh, <laughs> no, 180 proof is like Everclear or something, isn't it? Uh, pretty close. <laughs> I'm like, that's, I'm sure that what I tasted was not 180 proof because that is like jet fuel and what I tasted was delicious. <laughs> so. Yes, yes, we um, we take about a week to um, bring it down. Oh, hey, Big Loss, great yeah. to see you. <laughs> got, got my geese last week and nice tasting from Ernest. I'll be back soon for the summer gin and the chocolate whiskey. We'll have them here for you. And uh, as you said, the last one is our summer gin. This is our citrus infused gin. So we take um, that London dry and infuse her with orange peel, orange blossom, kumquat, tangerine, and mandarin, and then filter it all back out. I, I confess you have officially turned us into gin likers though, because I, I think that I remember- <laughs> Right uh, when we were there, that was basically our the first time I really had tasted anything, anything gin like you know in any right. capacity, and it was so good. And that that is it. Like we we have been converted to add that to our little list of <laughs> that we like. So awesome. well, and to help with your holiday shopping, uh -oh. we have curbside pickup. You Ooh. can. Uh, go on our website and mark curbside if you're local 
Also, follow us, we have gift cards. We also have gift bags here. You need a gift bag. Like if you just like want to come in and like walk out the door with your gift ready to go, we can help. That's um, perfect for office parties, right? Right. Yes. You know we're all about to be happening, right? <laughs> so yes. The other new thing is um, we are actually on WeFunder. WeFunder, what's WeFunder? Yes, it's so in the spring before everything got canceled, yes. um, one of the things that we do at those events is we still had um, about 18 to 20% of our shares available for sale. And because those got canceled, um, we switched over and signed up with WeFunder, which is a leading yeah. online. Would you um, like me to pull this up? I have the link for it that you sent me, and I can screen oh, share that it. Be, that would be fabulous. Okay, um, let me put so the, the early elf special with WeFunder is if you s sign up before we hit sixty thousand dollars, and we have fifty-four thousand um, dollars. Pledged, which is not reflected on the web website yet, but we have 54,000 pledged. For, shares are $50 each with a $250 minimum. You would actually get your share for $45 until we get to that $60,000 limit. So I'm, I'm calling that our early elf special. So I'm, this is an interesting concept and I am not familiar with WeFunder and now I kind of want to ask you a couple questions about it. Right, if I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Ernie in to help answer these questions because okay. um, just so that I've got a little bit of help and make sure. So this is Ernie. So she Hi, Ernie. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. So, so I'm not familiar with what WeFunder is and so I'm gonna I'm gonna start at the beginning and please pretend that like you're talking to somebody who has no idea about anything. Now you go if somebody let's say I wanted to invest, okay, so I have to make a minimum investment of two hundred and fifty dollars and then shares are fifty dollars a piece. So let's say I'm going to do that. And then how what is what happens? I go, I click my invest button here, I put in the money right here next to it right and mm -hmm. then what happens does that do i pay that money immediately or is that money pledged to process at a different time and then what happens when you have reached this goal is there a time limit that this runs out at or so those are kind of my first initial questions do you want me to start okay, from the, beginning? the raise continues <laughs> until march 2021 okay. uh, and when you put your money in it goes into escrow so okay. there's a period of time where you can say, hey, I really want to do this. I want to increase it or, gee, I need to buy new tires for the car. So I'm not going to do it. No. So the minimum of $250 is to accommodate people who want to invest, be an owner of the company, but they're not accredited investors, which means they don't have an income of $200,000 per year or $2 million in assets. And those are the typical investors that we work with. Um, but we opened this up because so many of our customers wanted to join with us and be owners. Uh, this is not like Kickstarter. Kickstarter, you're just making a donation. This is uh -huh. actually shares that you own. And so after after you hit your goal, right? Then then what occurs? Like because you're it's not publicly traded. So right. Right. Oh, okay. So so okay. So shares, not stocks. Got these it. are these are shares that are issued to you, uh, and then whatever the value of shares that you buy, um, yeah. the company exits when we sell to, say, Centauri or Diageo or another large spirits company. You receive your percentage of the uh, of the gain. So, man, this is a, a way to. Can, can I collect my shares in gin? <laughs> <laughs> You have to wait till we sell, but that is the, that has always been the business plan. This was not something we did to hand down to the children. This is our retirement plan. And so what, uh, what do you guys, you just plan to do this, make your amazing, make your amazing alcohol and then you will sell and then retire forever and not make any more. What happens after that? We don't, well, we don't, we haven't decided what the next adventure is. 
<laughs> so I mean, I, I I don't know how to feel about that. Like, <laughs> well, well it, whoever yeah, large ahead. companies buy craft distillers, um, especially once you get to a certain production level, right? So um, so the brand would still be around, and part of the acquisition is they get all the all the recipes and the trade knowledge and all of that. So the brand will still be around. It's just right. we will. Um, take our tidy little profit and go do something else. Yeah, right? you do, uh, when you look at the We Funder site for James Bay, you see that there's history of the company. There's a list of the uh, the risks that we say uh, could happen. Uh, it, there it are kind of laid out uh, like Kickstarter. Endorsements yeah. from people. Oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, it is sort of laid out like Kickstarter where you've got, you know, <laughs> your reviews, your questions, you know, places for right. people. But uh, but not this is actually buying into the company. This is also, really cool. In the early days, when you're not sleeping because you're waiting for all of your licenses and everything to come through, mm -hmm. my husband reads reads tax code. Doesn't everybody? Oh, and um, stumbled across a tax code which we filed for, have discussed with our accountants, and have everything in order. On exit, all profits are non-taxable. They're free of capital gains tax. Oh, that's excellent. So oh, we think that's a great deal. Yeah. Uh, we anticipate a, a 10 times return. And typically, when the craft spirits company sells to a larger company, they sell for a multiple of eight to nine times final year revenue. And we're anticipating $15 million in sale at the point of exit. So nine times 15 would be whatever the math is, that's the exit value. Uh, and then if somebody owns 1% of all the shares, they receive 1% of all the profits and the value. Well, I guess it'd be like 150, like 30, 30, right. 30 50, 90, 120, 150, right? Did I get right. that math right? I think I yes. did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're better at math than I am tonight. My, my brain shut down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That uh, that's awesome, man. This is so. This is so cool. Not only can people enjoy drinking your stuff, they could also, I mean, talk. Okay, so I'm just gonna like veer a little bit off, but one of the, one of the things that was has been popular at some of the conventions that I go to, but not this year. But you know, back when events were a thing, doing the doing the scotch and whiskey tastings mm -hmm. and. I just feel, and, and everybody gets fancy to go to them, right? You get all dressed right. up in your steampunk outfits or whatever, and you go and you do the thing. And I'm like, I sort of want to do this because it's like a way that I can be more pretentious than everybody else. Right? I'll be like, oh, <laughs> not only are we tasting this, but I'm a part owner in the company. <laughs> right. As soon as we relax the guidelines again, we can um, go back to doing private events. And you can actually rent out the distillery for your event. Um, we just have to, yeah, we just have to wait for the guidelines to relax a little bit. That would be so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're still doing tastings. Yeah, we still do tastings. We um, we do them outside or we open the bay door so we have lots of air circulation because we've had some really rainy days. Yeah. Um, and the tents are only supposed to have two sides on them, and that means you get wet. Mm -hmm. So we just sit people right by the door and roll the door up. And so come dressed for uh, cool weather. Right. It's going to be a little chilly, um, but we are still doing tastings, and we are open. We are only closing. We're open open Tuesday to Saturday, twelve to five. We are closed Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Okay. But we are open Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve regular hours. Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve regular hours. Got yes. it. Okay. I'm just I just had to take a second to process that process that in my brain. That's okay. And and guys, if you're running late, call us. We'll we'll stay. Okay. You know, you know just give us a call and be like, hey, you know, work didn't let me out on time. <laughs> Well, and the good thing about this too is at least uh, at least for those local here in in the Everett area, it is something that you can get as a gift right now. Like they could yes. just come down there, do the curbside pickup, and off they go, and they don't have to worry about the shipping. If you guys are afar, 
then shipping is a thing. But you guys do also ship as well to the places that, because every state has individual laws. And so- Right, every state does have individual laws. Um, we ship to, in Washington state, Alaska, Nevada, North Dakota, and Washington, DC. Um, there are other states we would love to ship to, but there's a law called direct to consumer. And if they do not allow direct to consumer, we cannot ship without losing our license. So we ask it to be nice when we tell you we can't ship. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. People people to, yeah but, that's right. We, we, we are signed up with Spirit Hub now. Okay. So if you're, if you're out of state and trying to get it, call us. We, if it's a state we're not currently shipping to, we, we will actually go and research the laws on that state and see what can be done. Okay. Um, but just, just contact us. You can email us too at info at jamesbaydistillers.com. And I will go back and after the show, I'll, I'll add your information in because we got you we got you in late here. The, uh, That's okay. To, so I will go back and add that in. But guys, I can't I can't recommend enough. If you're looking for a classy gift to give to somebody, give them a try. Support small business, and you know, get get your get your pretentious up there, right? <laughs> That's what can say. So, all right. Well, well, oh, for us, he's out. I'm sorry. He's out. Oh yes, Pinky's out. <laughs> so, well, is there anything that you would like to say to everybody? You are our last vendor of the day, so it, you anything before we bid you farewell? Um, we do have um, retail merchandise, T-shirts, hats, things like that. We can ship those anywhere in the world. There's like no restrictions on those. Okay. Um, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, guys! Give us a call. We'll see what we can do to help you guys out. All right, that sounds. Perfect. Thank you so much for being on the show today. And everybody, thank you so much for tuning in here to the show this afternoon. One thing I do want to say before we go, so it's the 20th. We do have one more Sunday in this month, which is the 27th. Uh, next, next weekend, there will be a show, but it is not going to be handmade home shopping. I'm going to be doing a pilot run of a a, of a spit kind of a spinoff on handmade home shopping called imperfect product where i will be showing i'm going to start with myself and we'll see how it goes start with my own product from my own business but uh i will be showing my imperfect product that for whatever reason i can't actually just sell and it will be at discounted rates so that will be kind of a fun we'll see, little spinoff we'll see how that goes that may become our thing for the last weekend of every month, but that is definitely we're going to start with that next week. So it won't be you won't we won't be here with a bunch of vendors next week, but you will be here with me, and I will be showing you my imperfect product, and you will have the opportunity to buy it right online. Thank you for joining us all today. If you liked what you saw here, please consider Patreon or subscribing directly to this YouTube channel, which you can do by blink hitting that join button on YouTube. And your support helps us all keep these shows going and having cool people to show to you, cool vendors and products. So happy holidays to everybody. Love, love to all of you. And we will see you next week. So yes, bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye now.